We wanted our family to know our history and the culture in the Upper Peninsula area. That was extremely important to us as parents. I think being in Marquette, you start understanding a little bit the culture, like people like doing things themselves, and they're so proud of doing it. The architecture Marquette has really deep historic roots for the Midwest. So that's something that I think should be really built upon. So one day Aaron comes to me, like, Gabby, I'm gonna buy a beer store. Phil had actually kept a Rolodex of all of his quotes. It's really fun to be part of that, it's part of the history. Hi, I'm Aaron Lepinen. And I am Gabriela Anke. And, and we, we are, are People, People of Marquette. Marquette. I'm Gabby, I'm born and raised in Quito, Ecuador. We lived 10 years in, in Quito, and now we're actually living in Marquette. I uh, grew up in Marquette on uh, County Road 550. Started my undergrad degree in the pre-architecture program at Northern, then transferred down to U of M. Went to grad school in Los Angeles, uh, Southern California Institute of Architecture, and that's where I met Gabby. My grandfathers came from Germany during the war, so I come from a smaller community that is Jewish. I ended up going to college in the States, and then I moved to New York. And after that, I moved to LA to do my graduate degree, where I met Aaron. We were two of 30 students, so there was not too many options. <laughs> In Los Angeles, one of the reasons we actually stayed for a lengthy time is I was able to be a project manager and a project designer in a Holocaust museum. That experience was unforgettable and once in a lifetime opportunity. There was a brief stint in Dubai for almost a year to develop and design 300 artificial islands off the coast of Dubai. And so we were part of the architectural team that was doing a lot of the master planning. That type of international experience is something that I think shapes who we are because we know we're probably not going to be designing artificial island shaped in the world ever again in our lives, but who knows. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that in Lake Superior anytime soon. <laughs> there for a while, we decided we wanted to start a family. It would become a decision of where we wanted to go, and I won that bottle. <laughs> we moved to Quito. My family is down there. My brothers are down there. Everybody knows each other. It's a community-oriented place. I have the same feeling as here in Marquette. When we moved to uh, Quito, Ecuador, we started our business in 2010. Lepinen Anker Arquitectura is the name of our business. We've done a ground-up university in the Amazon rainforest. We've done uh, buildings that are 24-story, that are mixed-use, commercial, residential, office, we've done single family residential, but over the last three years we've opened a satellite uh, office in Marquette and here we've been doing a range of services. I think it's a little bit of collaboration more than just a single presence. We are looking for people that will like your services or have an idea or in the industry that need help. Since we have a firm already for 10 years, it's easier for us to like or become part of your team and become an extension of your team. So one day Aaron comes to me and was like, Gabby, I'm going to buy a, a beer store. And I'm like, yeah, really? It's going to be the next big thing in Marquette. Well, I had got a call from my business partner at like midnight and he basically said, hey, Phil's is going up for sale. And I had gone there growing up as a kid because, you know, my mom always took me there and then we'd get ice cream. So we decided, let's go for it. Phil's has been around for 50, 60 years and my grandfather used to go there when it was Lucy's. And at one point in the 80s, he got superstar Phil. They created Philville. He created pictures of himself in the 70s on a shirt and he sold it for $20 and people loved it. And over the years, it's just become a, one of these places, a quirky little beer store on the 550 that you have to stop by. This kind of simple idea became something bigger and people in Marquette recognize it and people love it. So it's really fun to be part of that, it's part of the history. To be back up here and be a part of that, I think is fantastic. I love it. Yeah. I'm Aaron. I'm Gabby. And, and we, we made, made it Marquette. Marquette.